Today on Discovering Magnolia, Texas, we are at the artfully inspired studio of Chrissy Doolin. Let's go inside and meet her. Chrissy, thanks so much for having us here today. I am so excited to learn all about your craft. There are some amazing pieces that you have here in oh, your studio. You. But before we get into all of that, let's learn a little bit about you. Okay. So tell us about your background. Are you from Magnolia? How long have you lived here? I am not from Magnolia, although I've been here for 11 years. I'm originally born and raised in New Orleans and moved from New Orleans to Colorado in my mid 30s was in Colorado for about 11 years until we landed in Magnolia. Being raised in New Orleans had a lot of influence on me artfully. And then when I moved to Colorado, it was the time of my life and things that were happening in my life, as well as the scene in Boulder and different places that lent to me finding my way into becoming a metalsmith. And then Texas, it's like now, I know who I am and I've learned so much more and I can really spread my wings and keep creating. So let's go all the way back to your childhood. And okay. you had said that your father had given you your first camera. Cause that's kind of, I think the start of it all, right? It was, I was seven and I begged for a Polaroid camera. He uh, surprised me on my birthday with a Polaroid camera. And I, I guess I took off from there. But one of the things that you said to me before we started the interview was when you were young, the other kids would have the chalk and they would be <laughs> drawing hopscotches. And what would you be doing? <laughs> I'd be drawing little people and trees and <laughs> sunsets and different things like that. So it, it definitely was innate in me. You didn't originally start your career in the art world, right? Not at all. I was in marketing and management and sales, and that was the direction I thought my, that was the path I thought that I was supposed to go on. When I lived in Colorado, before moving here to Magnolia, I went to school, became a metalsmith, and knew that that was the direction that I wanted to go with my creative world. Um, what kind of pieces do you create with metal? I'll do a lot of florals, a lot of flowers. I'll do a lot of layered pieces. A lot of times leaves and from the leaves I'll have little stones and stuff on them as well. But a lot of suns, moons, just anything that nature provides. There's so much inspiration there. All right, and so for the actual pieces that you create, you've got the necklaces like you have on today, yes. um, and earrings. What other kinds of pieces do you make? I do bracelets, rings. I do art for the wall. I also do pins, like lapel pins and mm -hmm. things like that. Yeah. And I've made even like little cute things for people's hats. Do you ever take custom orders? Do people call you and say, oh, I'd really like something maybe around, you know, a pet that they've lost or, you know, anything like that or? I do, I do. I have, um, I do any kind of commissions. So people will call me and say, just create me something like this. But some of the most heartfelt are the ones from people who've lost their loved ones sure. or their pets. Um, I've also in the past done um, necklaces and bracelets made from signatures oh, of, yeah. of, the, of those that have passed. Sure. So. Yeah, very sentimental. Yes. Very original, sentimental, heartfelt pieces. Absolutely. So you actually create here in your studio at your house. Um, but when you sell, you actually have one of the places is downtown towards the Heights. I have a studio at Winter Street and it's located in um, Sawyer Yards. And there's tons of artists down there, lots of things to do on second Saturdays. So every second Saturday of the month, you open your studio there for people to come in and they can see what, you're, what you've created and they can, they can purchase as well. Exactly. But outside of that, you also travel around the country for, sh for art shows, correct? I do. I kind of stay to the southeast, but I do travel from Oklahoma all the way through to Florida. So as you're designing, is there a favorite technique of yours that you have? 
One of my favorite techniques is sweat soldering. For some people, it's one of the hardest things for them to do when they learn how to make jewelry. However, for me, I took to it kind of like a duck to water. You take a piece and you solder another piece on. It allows me to get much more texture. It allows me to create very unique designs. And it also allows me to, to take and combine different metals together. So as I look around your studio here, I can tell that there's a lot of pretty inspirational pieces. Let's talk about what you've got on the walls. It's collected things that make me happy. I color and shapes and different words will really continue to inspire me on a regular basis. So where do you draw your inspiration from? Mainly my inspiration is drawn from animals and nature. There was once a contest in a, in a Galveston um, art league and they wanted everybody to produce fish. And I sat there and I watched and I had never made fish jewelry before. And I watched all these people presenting and sending in their entries for fish. And I started creating fish because of that. And fish are one of the most delightful and exciting things for me to do. I love creating, creating fish. fish. Yes. I do. So the name of your business is Chrissy Doolin, Artfully Inspired. Yes. Right? And how can people find you online? I am on Facebook under Chrissy Doolin, Artfully Inspired. I am on Instagram at Artfully Inspired. And you also have a website. I do. And on your website, people can find all of your pieces and purchase them there as well, right? Yes, and that's chrissydoolin.com. Thanks for joining us today on Discovering Magnolia, Texas. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. This Community Small Business Spotlight is brought to you by Erica Steetenroth, your Magnolia Realtor, and was produced and edited by JJ Productions.